is a gift, um, even if it's just a little bit. So we'll move a little bit and um, relax a lot. Sound good? Everyone's nodding. Okay, great. So I'll give you time to set up your space. If you have a yoga block, awesome. If you have a pillow, that is even better. Um, we'll start in a seat. So whatever you'd like that to look like for you, um, that can be sitting on the ground, that's fine. Um, a pillow is always really nice to elevate your hips. Or if you're the person that wants to be on your knees with a block underneath your seat, that works too. So all different ways to take um, a meditation, we'll call it the fancy um, word of meditation, but I often shy away from that word because it can be intimidating. And it also leads people to think that it has to look a certain way. Um, like you're seated, you're still, you're cross-legged, you're at peace, you're um, all is right in your mind, in your body, in the world. Um, and that's not, just not really always true. And that might be the case for you today. And that's awesome. Um, if you experience that sort of peace and calm, um, sometimes it looks a little different than that. And so we'll call it stillness for today. Find a seat that works for you. Once you are in that seat, whether it's cross-legged or on your knees, if you feel like you want to take stillness or meditation lying down, I won't be someone that will tell you no. <laughs> if that works for you, take it. As you find whatever it is that provides you support, Rest, stillness, take a deep breath in. Maybe even open up your mouth, letting out an audible sigh. And do that as many times as you need <laughs> to feel like you're releasing something. Maybe just something, even it's just like something little that might be causing tension, stress, resistance in some part of your physical body. See if you can just maybe energetically release it or even physically soften it, even just a little. And use your breath to help that happen. You can let your eyes close if maybe they're not already there. As you tap in with your breath, like maybe just take a moment to thank your body for your breath. This tool that you have, no matter where you go, no matter what's happening around you. You always have that sense of an inhale and an exhale. Take a few more rounds, just noticing maybe the cadence of your breath. Notice the quality of your breath. No right, no wrong, no good or bad. Just observe. And when we notice our breath, 
while we give thanks to our body for breathing. And we start to use our breath as that tool to shift from a place of maybe reactivity or overstimulation to a place of softening, of grounding, or even to a place that is this almost like tangible place inside of us, our center. You might visualize what center or feeling centered looks like to you. Maybe you're so far from that place that you feel off center and that's okay. You know you always have your breath, that breath in again, a breath out to soften, to ease, to ground down. and to come back to or connect with that place of center. So you'll hear me use that reference a few different times, a few different ways throughout our practice today. I'm letting our, maybe a little bit of a goal for today's class being finding our center. What does it feel like? What does it look like? How do we come back to it, even if we've left it? Or even just realizing what it feels like in the first place. So we know what to come back to. So again, full breath in. Maybe open your mouth, let out that audible sigh. And you can, of course, stay here for as long as you need to. And if you notice that like being still is exactly what you need to find your center, stay in stillness. And if you'd like to move a little bit more, you can either keep your eyes closed or flutter the eyes open and start to slowly drop your chin down towards your chest just to feel the back of the neck lengthen. And then start to lift your chin, lift your face, feel the front of your throat stretch. Come back to center, looking straight ahead for a moment and then just look over your right shoulder. Come back to center and then just look over your left shoulder. These slow, subtle movements can have such a huge impact. You then come back to center. Start to drop your right ear over to the right. And if you want a little added sensation here, maybe reach your left hand away from that stretch. And come back to center and then drop your left ear over to the left. Maybe reach your right hand away or down towards the ground. And come back through center. And again, drop your chin to your chest. And then from there, roll your right ear over to the right. So then you find maybe a sweet spot that's holding tension or not so sweet spot. <laughs> and you pause wherever that might be. And come back through center. And roll your left ear over to the left. Same idea. And come back to center. Sit up nice and tall. Think about the top of your head, the crown of your head rising. Soften your shoulders. 
away from your ears and maybe even bring your hands together in front of your heart so you can find this sense of balance between right and left. And the space in between your hands, maybe this is like a physical place of center for you and you feel like super grounded here. This physical sensation of balance. And then place one hand over your belly, other hand on top of that. Maybe that is your physical anchor, your sense of center that you come back to. Just exploring what feels grounding, maybe both, maybe one or the other. And then here, take a breath in. Maybe open your mouth, let out a sigh, huge exhale. And whenever you're ready, meet me in hands and knees, tabletop pose. You can move that pillow or that block off to the side. Once you are in tabletop pose, envision your physical center as that place right above your navel. Right, so it's like actually if you were to think of your body like the letter X, it would be where those two lines would meet right in the middle of your torso. And start to send your right leg behind you. If you don't want to fire it up a lot, you can keep your toes on the ground, of course. And if you wanted a little bit more heat, you can even send your left hand away and reach it forward. Like you were pulling those two lines apart, take a deep breath in and then set your hand down, knee down. And you'll switch to the other side, left leg goes back, maybe right hand forward. Think of that letter X, your physical center, take one more breath in and set your hand and your knee down. Start to drop the belly, lift the tailbone, and lift the face. Cow pose, big breath in. On your exhale, you round your upper back, drop your head, cat pose. Do that one more round. Breathe in, find cow. Breathe out, find cat. Come back to neutral. And start to walk your hands up your thighs here. You'll rise up onto your knees. And reach your arms out and up overhead. Big breath in to reach high here. Maybe even look at your fingertips. And start to hook your thumbs overhead. So see your thumbs hook. Your elbows will go a little wider. So you create the letter O around your head here. A little bit of tension as you pull the thumbs almost like apart and then lift your chest a little bit more. Take one more breath in. So nice, now come back to the neutral spine, look straight ahead. Hands can come to your hips, step your right foot forward. So as you rock your hips forward a little bit, I want you to notice how the front of your left hip gets a little bit longer and start to reach your left hand up to the sky. So let that line get a little longer all the way out through your fingertips. Take one more breath in. So nice. Now take your left hand outside your right knee. So you're just gonna let it cross the body. And you can stay here or start to look over your right sh shoulder. If you want a little more, right hand can reach behind you and you find a little bit of a twist in the spine. So nice. Reach your right hand up towards the sky. We're gonna do a little funky movement here. You're gonna face the front. Now your right hand is reaching. You're gonna cross the right arm on top of the left, like the letter X. You're gonna reference that a lot. Think of center. And then you can lift the fingers up. We're finding eagle arms here, eagle pose arms. You can either wrap the hands together or hands come to your shoulders. So you're just start taking a breath in to sit up a little taller here. And then maybe even start to lift the elbows. 
as you exhale, your elbows will come down inside your right knee. Do that one more time. Lift up, lift the elbows, maybe lift the chin slightly. And then exhale, elbows will tap inside the right knee. You'll come up just like that. Unravel the arms, sweep them up overhead, big breath in. So nice. And take your hands inside your right foot. I just got like tent there. And you'll tuck your back toes and lift your left knee up off the ground. So you're in like a little bit of a runner's lunge here. Look to the long edge of your mat, over to the left. I want you to walk your hands along the long edge of your mat and then parallel your feet. So you end up in a wide like forward fold, nice and long across your mat. And bend your knees as much as you need to to let your head drop down. So shake out your head, yes. Shake no. Let the muscles of your neck find a bit of release. And if you feel like your hamstrings are so tight they're talking to you, bend your knees more. So nice, take a halfway lift here. So walk your hands underneath your shoulders. Think a flat back on your spine. Now you'll see your right foot again. I want you to frame it like you're coming back to that lunge. You'll bend into the right knee. Step your left foot up to meet your right. And you can separate your feet a little bit wider. And let your arms hang here, bend your knees a lot. And then slowly, slowly think like one vertebra at a time. You'll roll up to find a standing position. So arms done along your sides, your palms will face forward. Take a full breath in. Big breath out. And then find that sort of, call it a mudra, like what you would do with your hands to find your center. So whether it's hands onto your belly, hands at your heart, maybe it's one hand at your heart, one hand at your belly. And close your eyes. So a different orientation of your physical body, but still access to your breath. Maybe close your eyes here. Yeah, take a full breath in. Open your mouth, finding that ease. So even after movement, can you access that feeling of center? Breathe in. Strong exhale. Stay here as long as you need to find that sense of grounding, that sense of physical center, maybe energetically centering. And open the eyes when you're ready. You can heel toe your feet maybe a little bit closer together. So they land right underneath your hips, about hips width distance apart. Start to reach your arms out and up, big breath in overhead. And take your right hand, wrap it around your left wrist just for a little added assist here just like a little bracelet and you'll lean over to the right finding some length and stretch through the left side and come back up through center and then you'll switch so left hand to your right wrist lean and tip over to the left take a breath in and start to release the arms down. Give them a little bit of a shake, maybe even a little sway side to side, like you're rinsing everything out. Land in stillness and start to spread your toes really wide. So we really ground the feet down and then start to bend your knees like you're sitting in chair pose. Now take the arms out like a T here. I want you to create that letter X by crossing the arms in front of you. Your left arm will come underneath the right. And you're gonna find eagle arms here. So either hands to your shoulders or lift the fingertips and wrap the arms up. Kind of a hard thing to like teach over 
zoom but just find those eagle arms so it's like you cross like an x lift your fingers wrap them or hands to your shoulders now once you're there you're sitting in chair pose i'm aware still <laughs> and you're going to shift the weight into the right foot here i want you to just slowly start to cross your left leg on top of the right like you were coming into a seat and crossing your knees one on top of the other now you can if you want to play with balance pick that left foot up off the ground like so if you want a little bit of a little kickstand more grounding your left big toe is on the ground it looks like you guys are doing awesome taking that like really like that balancing shape now the reason why we do this is find your center <laughs> perfect shape to notice what it feels like to be physically off center, <laughs> right? So just embrace a few wobbles here or there, come out of it, come back into it, whatever you need, take three breaths to notice what happens when we just breathe. Even if we're feeling off center. <laughs> what happens when we breathe. And when you're ready, release it. Arms down along your sides. Find physical center, either hands to your belly, hands to your heart. Close your eyes. And just notice what happens when you find stillness. After maybe it could be perceived as a little bit of chaos. <laughs> a full breath in. Strong exhale to soften. Two more like that. Being okay with just taking a moment to pause. knowing that pausing is productive. And flutter the eyes open. Take in a little more light, sweep the arms out and up. Big breath in to reach, reach, reach overhead. Maybe even look at your fingers. And then soften through your knees as you just fold in half. And take a breath in. Hands can come to your shins or your thighs. And bring your hands down. You can take either two big steps back to downward facing dog or one big step. And you drop your knee, you can just come back in the way we came out. So if you're in down dog, awesome. You can maybe pedal the feet. If you're on both knees here, maybe you come to tabletop pose. We're gonna all eventually meet in tabletop pose, landing there. And if you'd like to take a round of cat cow with the breath before we move to the other side, of course, go for it. And then come back to neutral. And this time, send your left leg behind you. Maybe let it float. If you want to add a challenge, right hand, reach it forward. Thinking about that letter X, where is the center? Take a breath in. And then set your hand and your knee down. And you'll switch. Right leg behind you. Left arm forward. Breath in. So nice, and then release. Now, an intentional all together, breath in to drop the belly, lift the heart, finding cow pose. And then exhale to round into cat pose. Start to walk your hands up your thighs, rise up onto your knees. And start to bring your hands to your hips, step your left foot forward. 
Your left hand stays where it is. Start to reach your right hand up. So as you send your hips slightly forward here, you can start to reach up through your right fingertips. So think about your sternum lifting towards your hand, towards the ceiling as you reach, reach, reach. And then notice how the front of that right leg, front of the hip gets a little bit longer as a result. And we need to think about keeping that length and then start to send your right hand to your opposite knee. So your left knee. Look over your left shoulder. Finding that twist, maybe it's the left hand that reaches as well. One more breath in. Nice, come back through center. Start to then reach your hands up overhead. And then now it's actually bring that right hand back down. <laughs> Not so fast. We're gonna take that left arm on top of the right. And then it's eagle arms. So either fingers up or hands to your shoulders. You'll lift the elbows on the inhale. And then on the exhale, bring them down inside of that knee, like a slight little rounding, like cat pose. Do that one more time. Inhale to lift up. Exhale to round in. Now as you come back up, release the arms out and up, reach high overhead. And then bring the hands down inside the left foot. You get to tuck the back toes, lift the knee, give that knee a break. And you'll spin that back heel down for a moment. Look to the right side of your mat, the long edge. Walk your hands there, but parallel your feet. So making sure that all 10 toes are facing the long edge of your mat where your head is. And then fold forward. You get to drop your head down. Again, an opportunity to shake it. Yes, no, let gravity do some work. Maybe even beginning to bend one knee to stretch the inner leg and then bending the other knee. Moving from side to side with that stretch. And come back to center. Your hands walk underneath your shoulders. Think of flat back here. And you'll see your left foot at the top of your mat. Frame it in a low lunge here like we had before. So your left knee is bent. You know, look to the top of your mat and step your right foot to meet your left. Take a halfway lift here. Breathe. And then exhale, fold back down, just a place to reset. Bend your knees a lot and then slowly, slowly, slowly. You might even pause in the middle halfway. And then you'll roll all the way up to standing. Take what you need a moment to pause in stillness. Find that physical sense of center, whether in your belly, or hands at your heart. Take a breath in and out. One more like that, breathe in. Out. Oh, nice, and then start to open up the eyes. Sweep the arms out and up, a breath in to rise. Again, right hand wraps around your left wrist and then just tip over to the right. So we start to create a little more length in between the ribs here and then come back up and then switch. Create that almost like a bracelet, left hand around your right wrist and tip over to the left. So as you create that space, keep it as you rise back up and then start to bend your knees, sit back into that chair pose. Take your arms out like a T. Now this time you're gonna create that letter X, but your right arm comes under. So you're crossing the arms, right arm under, left arm on top. So nice, and then find eagle arms, either fingertips rise or hands to your shoulder. Now you shift the weight into the left foot this time. 
wrap the right leg on top. So full Garudasana, full eagle pose, either with that right foot floating off the ground or right big toe grounding. Lots of options. See if you can find one steady point in front of you to look at and then find your breath. That most valuable tool that you have. Wherever you go, no matter what shape you're in or what's around you, take three big breaths. Just notice what happens when we add that in. So nice, and then release. Right foot will plant, arms down along your side. Revisit that physical center. Close the eyes. Soften in stillness. Find strength in your breath. Or even strength in stillness. Full breath in, breathe out, one more like that, fill all the way up, exhale to get completely empty, push all the air out, stay here as long as you need. And when you're ready, in a little more light, blink the eyes open. And sweep the arms out and up, big breath in to reach, reach, reach up overhead, maybe even look up. And soften your knees as you fold forward. Halfway lift here, big breath in, hands to your shin or your thighs. And you can bring your hands down, either a big step back with the right foot, coming back into the lunge, how you came forward, right? Or it's right back to downward facing dog. We all meet when you're ready, tabletop pose. And take a breath in to find cow. A breath out. To find cat. Take your knees a little bit wider apart and shift your hips back towards your heels. You might even grab your pillow or your block or both. Slide them underneath your torso to find just a nice supported, comfortable child's pose. Whatever that looks like for you. Let it be this shape of turning inward. Also a shape that helps us literally ground. <laughs> and of course we can't always, if we're out in the world and out in life in general, not always an option to just drop to child's pose <laughs> when we're feeling overwhelmed or overstimulated. <laughs> but if we can access this feeling of grounding and we can access our breath, we can come back to that idea or that feeling of center by just using our breath. By slowing things down, slowing our breath down. Full inhale. Full exhale. Stay here, of course, as long as you need to. 
when you're ready, you'll rise back up into a tabletop. You can slide that pillow out to the side and just start to find a seat. So you'll bring your legs out in front of you. Give your legs a little shake. Your feet can come together, your knees out wide, Baddha Konasana. You can hold on to your ankles, to your shins. You can sit up nice and tall on an inhale. And then tip forward and start to round forward when you're ready. Maybe even drop your head. You may be feeling a stretch in the hips. Maybe even rocking the head side to side. Get a few more stretches in the neck. And you'll slowly sit up. Take your legs out in front of you. You might want to keep that pillow nearby, close to you, and make sure you have enough space behind you. You'll make your way onto your back here. And if you want, you can bring that pillow either under your head or another option is to bend your knees and start to slide that pillow to the space right underneath your knees, like where your knees would land. And then maybe even scoot that pillow closer towards your seat, towards your sit bones, right? And so then it exists here. You can start to scoot your heels, maybe use your heels even to pull it closer towards you. And so once it lives there, if you have your pillow there, wherever you are, you can start to hug your right knee in towards your chest. The sole of your left foot can stay where it is. But hug your right knee in and then start to take little circles with the right ankle. Maybe create space in the right toes. Stay here or send the right leg up high. Or as the sky, you can even grab behind the leg for one last stretch in the hamstring here, of course, softening the knee if you need to. Take one more breath in. So nice and then lower the right foot next to the left and you'll do the same on the other side. So hug the left knee in, give yourself a little squeeze and start to roll the ankle, fan out the toes. If you want to make little circles with the left knee, you can even do that on the other side. You can always create space to do that as well. Just keep it even. And if you like, the left foot rises up towards the sky. You can hold on to the back of the leg if you want. Keep the back of your head on the ground and notice if you're holding tension by drawing the shoulders up towards your ears. Become aware of it and then just soften the shoulders down with the shoulder blades become a little bit heavier. One more breath in, you can bend the knee. Let the foot return. If you want to take those circles on the other side with the right knee, go for it. Now you have the choice here to either let your legs go long here. And so the back of your legs are supported by that pillow if you have it. Another thing is, is if you have two blocks, you can slide those also underneath the legs. I just find that a pillow is nice and soft. Um, and so you can find that if you're like, wow, for me, that allows my low back to just release here. Just that perfect little angle of the knees slightly elevated allows that to happen for me. It's like total softening. Another option is to come back with your feet planted and then wiggle walk your feet together and let the knees fall out wide. 
So it's like Baddha Konasana, like we took in a seat, your feet together, your knees wide, butterfly pose, but you're lying down. So Supta, Supine, Supta Baddha Konasana. So if you want that like opening in the hips here, that can be a nice place to land. If you find like that's too much, maybe consider sliding the feet further away from you, but maintaining that shape. You have time to settle in. So if you find that one spot just doesn't really resonate with you, you wanna try something different, another shape. Find what allows you to soften, release. We're all built differently. Different hips, different pelvises. So find what finds or provides you a sense of ease. And then either your arms down along your sides, out to the side. Or if you want that physical center, your hands can find your torso. Close your eyes. Allow the back of your head to Sink into the ground that's supporting you. Allow your feet to sink, to release, to relax. Often. The weight of your legs, the weight of your pelvis will become a little bit heavier so it can sink more supported. Allow the space in between your shoulder blades to soften. Space across your collarbones to be at ease, to soften. Lessen the grip on your fingers. The muscles of your hands, the center of your palm, your wrist. Allow. Maybe even a little bit of space in between the lips. As you give your jaw permission to soften. Allow the muscles in your face, around the eyes, feel the muscles in the center of your forehead. And even the top of your head. Now 
them to soften, release, and relax. Letting this stillness and letting this pause be just as important, if not even more, than movement. Knowing it's just as productive. Crossing things off our list. In this place of stillness, again, maybe focusing that sense of gratitude for that most impactful tool that we have our breath. You reconnect with your breath and you let each breath just be a little bit bigger. So notice what happens. When you take a bigger breath in, a longer breath out. A few more on your own. Start to invite in a little more movement here, just a little bit on your toes, maybe in your fingers. And you rock the head side to side. And start to bend your knees if they're not already there. And you can remove that pillow ever so gently and just roll onto your side. Bring yourself up to a seat. Sit up nice and tall. Hands can come to that mudra, either hands together at your heart. Hands on your navel and your belly. Maybe even one hand on top of the other in the center of your heart. So just find that anchor for yourself. Keeping the eyes closed. A breath in. Open up your mouth, let out that sigh. As you be empty, take one more, just for good measure. Breath in. Long exhale out. And observe just maybe 
if anything has shifted from the first time you took a seat to now the second time at the end of your practice. Just become aware of it and know that you always have your breath as that tool to come back to. If even just for one round or three rounds, maybe to come closer back towards that energetic sense of center, that physical sense of center, whatever it is. You know, you have that with you wherever you go. You can bring your thumb tips to the center of your forehead if you'd like, hands together, maybe even lift your face. And honor yourself for bringing in that kindness towards yourself. So then you can then share it out with others in your own way. Namaste. Happy Monday. Happy Monday. Thank you so much. You're welcome so much. Um, hope you all have a lovely rest of your week, whatever it entails. Um, and yeah, I hope that that was like a helpful reminder of something, a tool, like you'll hear me say, like tools in your toolkit. Right, a nice tool that you can have, whether you're in yoga class or you're driving in your car. <laughs>